How's it going? So tired here. Uh, this is part 16 of my Ab Urbi Condita Let's Play as the British Times. Uh, now we finished off previously taking Veldedeno here with Meriadot and his army. So I'm going. To, I want to get him back out of there though, and leave a garrison behind. And take these guys out. There's a couple of units in here that's going to join up with them, and they can do that as well. And then we'll bring the rest of these out. We'll leave these three units being retrained as garrison. Uh, only we better drop the taxes there. Damn. No mind, not a problem. Um, building there, retraining there, and Everton seems to be pretty much okay. Let's go west. Now then, we took a Avari company, and uh, what we're doing here, we're building and recruiting. Uh, I think I put a spy in here. Yeah, I did. 32% chance. We're aiming to take that. Excuse me. Um, what have we got here? And we'll bring him bring him out, I think, with some army. We'll send them back for retraining, because that's the only place he can be retrained. Um, what have we got in there? We'll bring these mercenaries out, because they're, they're high up to f for fighting. And we'll take... these out as well and they can join up there Combining um, out of move. we don't need them these this is nah, I don't need them we'll get rid of these slingers I think yeah we a good enough garrison there and we'll bring some of these guys and we'll take him put him in there because he's that free bleeder guy isn't he no, no useless he'll be in the uh, battle now, who's the best of these? Bring these and these. No point leaving them all in there doing nothing. Paid to fight. And they're sitting their arses. Drinking all the time. <laughs> right, we'll get this army out here and we'll attack by Bracton in a minute. Um, I thought I'd seen an agent there. That's another spy. Can he get in there? He can. So that now gives us a 45% chance that they'll get the gates open, so we'll attack on the next turn. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do up here. Get him to join up with Luke. Lucho here, who's going to attack Luvabum, the first leg of this uh, little triangular conquest here. Take this corner of the Aegean. This, and then we can at least be a threat to the Roma uh, Romans when we want to be. Got the Epirates down there, but I think we're on good terms with them, aren't we? Well, we've got trade with them at least, I think. Just double check that. Yeah, we've got trade rights with them. Uh, well, we don't want to go to war with them because the Romans are in between. They're at war with Rome as well, usually, so... We want to conquer at Gaul. Take the rest of the, take these three settlements here, stay at peace with these two factions of Dacia and the Epiros, and actually the Macedonians for now, and then I'm going to look to attack and take Italy. Um, whether I do that before Iberia, I don't know. Independent Carthage, are they there yet? It doesn't seem to be. There's no way of knowing, is there? Iberians. Okay, we'll see about that. Now then, let's move on. The Potomac Empire want trade rights and they want us to give them money. Well, no, we don't give money. But we'll offer you useless map information because you're too far away for it to be of any benefit. And we'll see what we can get a couple of, a couple of thousand... Uh, Denari from you for that. Let's see. Yep. 
that'll do for us. Bit of Wonga. Now then, who's this man of wooden? Okay, we'll take him on board. I think he's young enough. Where did he go to? Uh, to uh, a sodium. Let's have a look in there. Where is it? Okay. Bern is a family member in there. Natural born leader. Drunkard. Alright. We really want to be put him to war. We don't need a governor in there, really. Um, I've got one in Teutoburg. I mean, that was the Chitoni's capital at, uh, at one time, wasn't it? Slubber the Gullion. Alright, that's a drunk as well. Alright, so we'll take. I'll leave him there for now. We'll send Bellinus over here. What is it? He had a bard, wasn't it? Um, one f uh, plus one for influence. Well, we can give that. Oh, he's still in control there. Brennus and Bellinus. Okay, so we'll pass his sliver dudgeon on him, whatever it's called, and we'll pass his bard on to him. There we are. Because Bellinus is a drunk anyway, he's going to die sooner, we reckon. So we get rid of that bad tree, that bad retinue. Okay. Let's have a look, Veldi Deno. My trader, now land clearance first there. Yeah. Besantio. Doing quite well there, aren't they? So I'll put a cesspit in there for health purposes. Is that population's quite good. Heading towards the 6,000. No. Mines in there. Burgas got it. Rose in there. Matteo. Communal farming in there. More people, more tax. Samara Bariva. Put a tavern in there, keep people happy. Well, we don't really need any. Nick quite happy as it is, I think. Why, why can't that open up? They're okay, we don't need to put anything in there. Uh, he's been executed, no worries there. We'll recruit though from there another unit of these spearmen. Because they're quite useful. But that'll be it. We'll start, uh, we'll come down to a valley, come here, and we're going to start recruiting these guys. We we'll give them a good army. Proper spearmen. We won't use the chosen, they're a bit more expensive, aren't they? They cost quite a bit more, don't we? Oh, no, that's what am I talking about? Warlords. 1137, 957, so about 180. More expensive. Cost the same to upkeep though. And these have got a missile attack. Maybe 
experience of two, maybe hit points of one, hit points of one, twenty in defense, twenty in defense, bit more in attack. Could be a chosen swordsman, but no. No, we'll use these because they've got a missile attack, and because we're using with spearmen for defence. Okay, that's what I'll we'll do. Because they get mixed up with each other. Look at them there. Look at them there. They're not too dissimilar, are they? Whereas they are, right? But they get missile attack, which is better. Okay. General. Ah. We can't go and get that, can we? Let's you attack them, right? Can't you besiege the settlement? I'll send you up to join them. Not a lot happening there. But we can use that passive come. There's two settlements. I'm sure Mediolanium, I think it's called, is there. Gallic settlement. And that's Patavium, and that's a Gallic set settlement. So we'll be coming to take them soon. But we'll just leave him guarding the pass for now. And we'll take. Right, we'll use Tincomius so you can get him a little bit more addition to his command. And we'll, t uh, we'll take the slingers. There we are, we're in. Let's go and do it. Silly eye, hot with eye. Swordsman. Yeah, we should be able to take them all right. Just keep the casualties down if we can. And, uh, but it don't matter. The main thing is we take it. Get rid take over the rest of these settlements. Take over the rest of Gaul. Eliminate the Gallic tribes. And then we should be ready for the Romans. But anything else can happen between now and then, of course. Romans might come and attack us. Dacians might attack us. Iberians may attack us. That smell is the enemy. That's what fear does to weaklings. Shall we show them what swords can do to their skulls? Ah, right then. Wintry weather. Okay, let's get you guys here. Slingers. Now let me think now. What I'm going to do is we put this, we'll go up to this other gate here and we'll put a unit of slingers here. See if they distract. Uh, maybe a unit away from this, the the town square. Got another one there. Sort of like ready for them. Okay, what have they brought here? Oh, the Massilian top lights. So if I put these guys there, they can stone them to Kingdom Come. And I'll see if they put anyone on this. No, they haven't put anybody on that gate. So I'm going to bring these guys in here for now. Get back to the main battle, and we'll send them down there. And you guys can follow them in.
speed up a little bit. Okay. Now then, let's use that war cry for the bonus. Well, we're not going to attack many of these actually. Not yet. We'll do fire at will. Take it out. Are they going to find them? Oh, they are. That's the way to do it. Our warriors have taken the walls. Now the streets will run with blood. Can we get here? Bring this one forward. We'll do the same again. Right, here's a war cry. And now the fire it will. The war cry bonus, I think it only kicks, I think you have to wait about 10 seconds before you make your charge after the war cry bonus. I think that's when it works best. Um, I haven't actually tested that, I did read about it somewhere, I just generally just steam in and try and batter them. One more, and then there's usually still a couple, isn't there? No? That'll be no then. Alright, back out here guys. And we'll do the same again. Speed up a little bit. Okay, war cry. All these little bit, these little uh, bits help, you know, this war cry that kicks off their bonus. Makes them a bit tougher in attack. One more, and that's him, all gone, I think. All dead. Okay. Maybe anyway, let's get them all set up. happening down this end. Oh, they're doing alright. Where's that slinger unit? I'll send you down there. Speed things up a little bit. around here again. Now then, let's bring them up here. Doing 
that gate here. Getting a bit closer. Now between both of these, they could take this unit out on their own because they ain't got any armour or nothing, they're all bare chested what have you. Ah, oh, doing a great job on them aren't they, look at this. Absolute massacre. So you had to spend the whole load in them as well, didn't I? Okay, so we'll bring them prepped. Let's get them down there. One fire at will. Let's get back up here now. Fire it will come on. You just destroy these. It's very frustrating really when you wanted to move that just bit that bit quicker. General, oh, that's now good. his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Get our war chief up here. Got a moral support. Now then, let's get you guys up here and just um, absolutely obliterate them. And this other one, we'll do the same with them. chance against these spearmen. You'll kill a few of it, we'll kill all of you. Look at this. Total destruction. They're a bit tougher mind you, but we'll make them attack and they're weaker in attack than they are in defence. Enemy 
army runs. Uh, set your bone done. Down. Here we go. And we we'll speed it up and get it over with. So hopefully, what's the percentage of loss? I've only lost 11%. Probably about oh, just under 200. That's quite good, I suppose. We're going to get about 30 of them back. So about 150 men we lost there. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Actually, I'm going to exterminate the populace in here because I want the money. We're going to build that last barracks so we can get armor spearmen there. We'll need a, a blacksmith in there as well as soon as possible. Weaponsmith, I think we've got a blacksmith actually. But I've got a blacksmith, but a weaponsmith will be even better. I'm going to retrain these guys because they're pretty good, you know. And another unit of swordsmen. Okay, so we're looking like we're going to do some business now. We'll move you down to here and then we'll join you up with them. Um, let me see, Tristan's army, I think. And we'll put you in charge of this settlement. And then we'll send to stand to the west, I think. Oh, we need a lot of retraining here. Hold on a minute. We're going to have to... Well, we can always recruit them when I'm ready. Put the money back. Do it that way. That's better. Anybody else needing um, any building work done? Not really. Okay. Now then, where's Lucho? Okay, let's move to the next turn. Okay, you can join up there. Good show now. Okay, now then. Philip Fabirenum. some paved roads there paved roads there Cenobum stables in there to supply the two infant the two military settlements Caradunum um, mines in there help the economy Okay, so we're looking pretty, looking pretty good at the minute. Uh, what can we? No, he doesn't need any more in there. Uh, but I want to get my spies out and about. Be bright. Let's get them over here. Okay, find out what we need there. And get him down and have a look at this one. Wow. And we won't go diving in there head first, will we? Alright, so our finances are looking good. 
action. Let's have a quick look. Who have I got as the heir? Justine, wasn't it? Right, and then we want. 36, oh, I must have adopted these. Alright. He's got old daughter, oh, Jesus, goodness me. He's got the son. But he married into the family, and Mary, I don't, of course, did. He's got two sons. Calponis. Alright, so I've got plenty of children ready to take on uh, the mantle of um, chieftain if we need to. So I think I'll end it there. Thanks for watching and uh, be sure to come back and watch part 17. Bye now.